morning everyone look what turned up in the post yesterday yes five 50 litre buckets there and huh, another five there so i think we should get these up to the allotment and get some christmas potatoes in actually heavier than what I thought them and they're 50 litres I'll put a link down to them as well if you want if anyone wants to go and get them but the, the whole idea is to do potatoes next year they use free up some space and I'll show you where I'm going to put them and free up because it takes a whole bed for ages and I'm not I'm not keen on that I'd like smaller little beds and put a lot more produce in so anyways they came and then I've noticed on YouTube everyone's doing Christmas potatoes so just probably enough time, so we'll see. So I've got, let's get these. Sell them at the garden centre there. I have got nine Red Duke York potatoes and some nine Charlotte. Now I'm not probably going to plant them all, but you know, I'll put two in a bucket. So let's get on and we'll do that now. So I'm having to do them here. Just because it's, it's rather windy outside and it just all blew on the mic. So I'll do one and I'll do, I'm going to do three possibly. And like I say, I've got nothing to kind of lose, I might as well. So the Red Duke of York, I'll do them first. And I'm using this evergreen compost, which was on special. <laughs> so it's on a garden. It's a great time at the moment to get compost that's on, you know, a special offer and everything like that. So I got some of that and I'm going to use some fertilizer as well, just a bit of potato fertilizer in there. So, I think we'll get cracking. And this, like I say, it's more so for next next season, but it'd be lovely to get some potatoes this, this season, you know, just some more over that Christmas time. Good handfuls in there. Ooh. I mean, these are big pots, like I was watching other folks, and most of them are like 30 litre. So they'll certainly get used up because I've got all sorts of ideas, you know, even putting, filling it full of sharp sand, drilling in holes, and then planting carrots. Been seeing that, you know, so anyway, let's get fertilizer, a handful of that. Just mix that in. These are what I planted just, you know, and been harvested them of late, so they're a lovely potato and can't complain. And they've got the little eyes on, so I don't know whether to put three in there or two. I'll go for two. Cover up. And then as soon as they start, you know, the head that they start sprouting, cover them again, cover them, keep covering them till hopefully the bucket's full and big crop. And everyone seems to get huge crops. Whether I'll get them for this Christmas, you know, I, I'm not too sure. And once it gets cold, I'll just put pop them straight into the polytunnel. There you go, that one's ready. There you go, five barrels done, and I'll set them in where I'm going to put them, 
But uh, what I did notice as well, it's it's even advertised. I don't know if you can see. Plant your new Christmas Christmas potatoes. So it tail has bulbs. So they even do. You know, it's like it's not just you know. Ad, it's a whole commercial industry. Christmas potatoes. So we'll see. What I did do as well, and I've labelled them as well. I think this one's one of them. This first one is that's. I've done three pots with the Charlottes in, and two with the Duke of York, the Red Duke of York. But on two of them, I put three potatoes in. So and I've labelled them as well. So we'll see if the you know the three potatoes make any difference if you get more crops or anything like that. So all that's left now is just to give them a water and set them in their own little hole. there we go so five buckets we'll see if anything comes to next year like next season I'm probably gonna put them along this back path I've got something planned for this wall but along this back path or somewhere you know where they don't get in the way really of the real estate right look after yourselves take care